Hey guys, this is Lance at Ledbetter Archery, Texas Twister Bowstrings. Uh, we've kind of entered the uh, question and answer phase on this video series that we've been doing for uh, Butch at uh, Baker Archery Products. And one of the questions he's been asked is about uh, even tension while you're laying up uh, your strings. Uh, one of the problems is if you have you know a spring-loaded stretcher, uh, if you don't lock that thing down solid as you continue to add wraps while you're doing your layup process, you'll end up compressing that straight. And your last wraps will end up tight. Your bottom, your very bottom is going to end up loose. So you need to lock that spring down. Uh, it keeps everything, it keeps it pretty even tension on your string. Your string's going to come out looking a whole lot prettier. You're not going to have, you know, loose spots, tight spots. Uh, so now I'm going to show you uh, a couple of ways of doing this. Butch has some incorporated into his stretcher. Uh, then there's a few little homemade ways. There's I know there's some of you guys out there that are using your own home-built jigs. And uh, maybe you can uh, use something here to uh, lock out that spring on yours. I'm going to move the camera around and I'll show you a couple of different ways of doing that. Alright guys, this is one of Butch's kind of late, you know, newest models of a stretcher head. Uh, I've incorporated these little rings here were some, on some of Butch's first jigs and uh, I really like this style of doing it. The, to me it works better but uh, everybody's got their own, own way of doing things. Uh, he has another way He's got, he built another little uh, clip that'll go down over here, but these work real good. I like them because they stay attached and I don't have to go to looking for them. But anyway, when you get ready to lay up your string, what I do is I run this all the way back against the housing. It's real simple. Run it back against the housing and then I turn the crank till I've got about 100 pounds of tension. Now, I'm going to have to really get pretty rough laying up my string in order to, to compress that more than 100 pounds that I've already got on this spring. Now, there's another way of doing this that Butch has. Uh, like I said, he has one built that will, uh, I don't have one of them. But anyway, what you would do with that one is it just sits down over the top of this and then you just crank it down and uh, pull it up to where you've got a hundred pounds of tension. Now, I don't know if you can see this, you probably can't, but I don't have anything locking that spring out now so if I go to laying up this string without having that locked out, this will move. It doesn't look like much, but it will move. And therefore, you know, you're going to end up with, with t loose on the bottom, tight on the top. And it, it just kind of becomes a mess. Now, here's another, this is another way I've done this with just a little bolt or whatever. And this is kind of for you guys that uh, have do-it-yourself stuff. If you can, this is just a servant separator. Uh, I don't really recommend using a servant separator. It's just something that I had handy. And... Uh, I can just stick this in there and then just run it up until I have 100 pounds of tension and it's not going anywhere either. Now we're locked down, you know, the spring is compressed to 100 pounds and you're still good. And another thing that you can do if you don't have something to stick in there or you don't have the ring or the little clip that goes over the top is you can just run this 
all the way down against there and then just put your spring at a hundred pounds or so of tension and it's not going to move. So there's just a couple of ways of doing this that uh, but it's it's pretty critical that you uh, that you're able to lock that spring down to where you're not gonna to be compressing it as you're building that string laying it up. Uh, got any more questions just uh, forward them to Butch and uh, he'll send them all to me and we'll try and get them answered for you. Thanks everybody.